Good evening. That is only Bishop Italo, on behalf of the community of Our Lady of Luxor Parish, and especially uh, seven, 67 candidates and their families, yeah, we welcome you to our church for the big celebration of confirmation. And uh, we're asking you to pray for us, especially for the candidates, especially on the solemnity of uh, the Corpus Christi. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy <laughs> Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast, the solemnity of Corpus Christi, the body and blood of Christ that reminds us uh, forcefully and powerfully of the great gift uh, that God has uh, done of himself, uh, coming to us as uh, our bread of life, our nourishment, spiritual, allowing us uh, to meet him very intimately in our own very body when we receive communion. And we are going to encounter Jesus today in, in, as he comes to us uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit uh, as body and blood and also as he sends uh, his uh, spirit to confirm you 67 young men and women of uh, Our Lady of Lourdes. Uh, sisters and brothers, uh, let us prepare ourselves uh, to celebrate these sacred histories by acknowledging our sins. Light chúa, chúa đã được sai đến để cứu chữa những tâm hồn thông hối. Xin chúa thương xót chúng con. Xin chúa thương xót chúng con. Lạy chúa Kitô, chúa đã đến để kêu gọi những người tội lỗi. Xin chúa Kitô thương xót chúng con. Xin chúa Kitô thương xót chúng con. Lạy chúa, chúa ngự bên hữu đức chúa cha để chuyển cầu cho chúng con. Xin Chúa thương xót chúng con. Xin Chúa thương xót chúng con. May Almighty God have mercy on us, sir. forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption. Who live and reign with you, God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, Mechizeldeg, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. And being a priest of God Most High, he blessed Abram with these words. Blessed be Abram by God Most High, the creator of heaven and earth. And blessed be God Most High, who delivered your foes into your hand. Then Abram gave him a tenth of everything. The word of the Lord. for 
according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Laud, O Zion, your salvation. Laud with hymns of exultation, Christ your King and Shepherd true. Bring him all the praise you know, he is more than you bestow, never can you reach his due. Special theme for glad thanksgiving is the quickening and the living, bread today before you set. From his hands of old partaken, as we know by faith unshaken, where the twelve at supper met. Full and clear ring out your chanting, joy nor sweetest grace be wanting. From your heart let praises burst. For today the feast is holden, when the institution olden of that supper was rehearsed. Hear the new law's new oblation, by the new king's revelation, ends the form of ancient right. Now the new, the old effaces, truth away the shadow chases, light dispels the gloom of night. What he did at supper seated, Christ ordained to be repeated, his memorial ne'er to cease and his rule for guidance taking, bread and wine we hallow making, thus our sacrifice of peace. Tis the truth each Christian learns, breath into his flesh he turns, to his precious blood the wine. Sight has failed nor thought conceives, but a dauntless faith believes, resting on a power divine. Here beneath these signs are hidden, priceless things to sense forbidden, signs, not things, are all we see. Blood is poured and flesh is broken, yet in either once it's token. Christ entire we know to be, whoso of this food partakes, does not rend the Lord nor breaks. Christ is whole to all that taste. Thousands are as one receivers, one as thousands of believers. Eat of him who cannot waste. Bad and good the feast are sharing of what divers dooms preparing. Endless death or endless life. Life to these, to those damnation. 
See how like participation is what unlike issues rife. When the sacrament is broken, doubt not, but believe tis spoken, that each severed outward token doth the very whole contain, not the precious gift divides, breaking but the sign betides. Jesus still the same abides, still unbroken does remain. that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. cùng anh chị em tin mừng Chúa Giêsu Kitô theo Thánh Luca Jesus spoke to the crowds about the kingdom of God and he healed those who needed to be cured. As the day was drawing to a close, the twelve approached him and said, Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the surrounding villages and farms and find lodging and provisions, for we are in a deserted place here. He said to them, Give them some food yourselves. They replied, Five loaves and two fish are all we have, unless we ourselves go and buy food for all these people. Now the men there numbered about 5,000. Then he said to his disciples, Have them sit down in groups of about 50. They did so and made them all sit down. Then taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he set the blessing over them, broke them, and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied. And when the leftover fragments were picked up, they filled twelve Wicker baskets. Đó là lời Chúa. Lời Chúa Kitô, lời khen Chúa. Bishop Italo, we present 67 candidates who, having been baptized, now seek to be more fully united with Christ in the church through the sacrament of confirmation. Candidates for confirmation, please stand. These candidates have responded to Christ's call and made themselves available to him in prayer. They have learned to know him better and love him more completely through study 
and reflection. They have a share his love and concern for others through acts of service. Thank you, Father Dominic. Thank you. Thank you very much for having accepted yourself the responsibility not only to bring Christ sacramentally to this parish, as all our brother priests do, but also to have accepted the leadership of this parish, which entails the preparation of the people of this particular church parish to the sacraments, including the sacrament of confirmation. So it's very, I'm very grateful that we have 67 young men and women who will be confirmed. And since I already met you um, a few minutes earlier, now why don't you please sit down? And we please sit down. Good. Uh, we celebrate today the solemnity of Corpus Christi, uh, the body and blood of Christ. Uh, we celebrated Easter, the resurrection of Jesus, and then we contemplate his as ascension to heaven, and then uh, the sending of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. Uh, and last week, uh, we contemplate the mystery of God in himself, uh, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And today, we see how this mystery of God uh, becomes present in human history. And it becomes present uh, in a very particular, eminent, uh, real way through the species of bread and wine who become the body and blood of Christ uh, we, as even, even somehow foreshadowed, uh, foreshadowed by this beautiful episode that we heard in the first reading of how Abraham, our father in faith, at the very beginning of the long journey of faith, the Jewish faith first and then the Christian faith after, uh, the, of, of, of the first one who answered, uh, understood, uh, somebody was calling him uh, to do something and to go indeed leave his own land and go to another place uh, that will be indicated to him. When he encounters Melchizedek, a priest uh, that is, as we sang in the responsorio, Psalm is eternal priest, uh, that he comes out of nowhere and then he disappears uh, from the Bible until the, 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 the Psalms uh, and uh, the letter to the Hebrews picks up on him. And uh, he offers him, as you notice, uh, bread and wine. Bread and wine comes Melchizedek with bread and wine. But we heard in the second reading uh, what it is, uh, the first account of uh, the institution of the Eucharist. And it is uh, St. Peter, St. Paul, excuse me, who says so in this short passage from the first letter to the Corinthians. And he said, you know what? I'm giving you what I myself have received. That's important. That's important. I'm not making anything up. I'm just, I just received this, and now I'm giving it to you. And what is it? And it is the account, that the night in which he was betrayed, Jesus took bread and said, take and eat, this is my body, and then the cup, and says, the cup of my blood, and every time you celebrate this, you proclaim my death, the death of Jesus. So with that, it was clear that at the very beginning of Christianity, you know, the Christians knew that by breaking bread and pouring wine, eating bread and drinking wine that had been consecrated through the priests, they would receive Jesus. And you know what? This is the most distinguishing uh, element of the Catholic faith, of the Catholic faith, in the Orthodox Church as well. But we truly believe that in the body, in the bread and in the wine, there is, uh, is the body and the blood of Christ. It's not a symbol, although it is symbolic, of course, but it's more than that. It's the reality, it's the truth. So whenever we come, all of us, uh, I, I will be the first one to consume bread and, and, the, and the wine, body and blood. So when we, I, the priests and the deacons and all of you come up to receive the body of Christ, it's the body of Christ. It's the body of Christ. That's why we say, amen, right? Amen, amen. 
We say, yes, I believe, I agree, I accept the truth that this is the body of Christ. So if people ask you, by the way, a new confirmation, huh, let me ask you, classmates, oh, my, the Catholics, uh, they eat bread and then they kneel before the bread and they adore bread. I say, no, 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 that's not bread. Who's, what is that bread? Tell me. Can you tell me, confirmandi? What is the bread that I will give you? A, a communion. Okay, can you all sell? Thank you. What is, what is that? Hey, this is not part of confirmation class. This is first communion class, okay? You may have forgotten. See, never grow old. Never grow old. Stay young. And remember that the bread after consecration becomes the body. I need to hear it. Be, be, humor me, confirmandi. What is it? The body of? I, this side is mute. <laughs> it's this, this, my, the sound system of my voice, it does, does it reach you? Can you hear me? <laughs> it's the body of Christ. You need to be very conscientious and aware of that. So that's what we heard in the second reading. And, uh, also, and but you might say, okay, Bishop, tonight we celebrate the, the feast of the body of Christ and the blood of Christ, but... What about the Holy Spirit? Now we are going to be confirmed. And isn't confirmation the giving on the part of God and the receiving on your part of the Holy Spirit? Is it? Is it? Yes or no? And you need to answer me. How do I get stuck here? Okay. Yes or no? Yes. Oh, see. Good. It doesn't matter the tone as long as you say it. Words matter. Words matter. It's the Holy Spirit who is coming to you. And where is the Holy Spirit, for instance, in the Eucharist? Well, if you will pay attention when, when we, after the preface, and then uh, I start praying, and I will say, Father, send your Spirit so that these uh, gifts here may become the body and blood of Christ. The body and, body and blood of Christ become present every time that we celebrate the Eucharist. Well, one of your priests or any priest anywhere in the world, when he says, Father, send the Spirit, that it, the Spirit may convert this bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ. That's where comes the Spirit. That's all that important. Without the Spirit, there's nothing. The words that we say, in that case, don't matter anything. But they matter when it's said in the context of the church. So the Holy Spirit, to begin with, is that powerful reality that allows us to... And it is the third person of the Blessed Trinity who allows us to really say amen when we go and receive communion and we hear said, the body of Christ, amen. The body of Christ, amen. The body of Christ, amen. Not even thank you. It's not needed. Thank you. It's another thing. But amen. That accepts the gift that through the Holy Spirit becomes the body and blood of Christ. So that's one way. Well, when we say for instance, the prayer of the Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven. Now, by memory, we know it because Jesus taught it to his disciples. But the truth of say, God, Father, comes from the Holy Spirit. It is only by the Holy Spirit that we can turn to God and call him Abba, Father. That's another way in which Jesus, Christ, excuse me, the Holy Spirit is present in the church. Or oh, when we say uh, that Jesus is the Lord, it is by the Holy Spirit that we can say that Jesus is Lord. That is, we recognize that Jesus is God. Okay? So those are ways through which the Holy Spirit, even in the context and the meditation and contemplation of the solemnity of Corpus Christi, the Spirit operates. It's the Holy Spirit that allows us to see with the eyes of faith. But what about you? What about you? Father Dominic introduced you to me saying that you have been baptized, right? Yes or no? Yes. Come on, you got the jest now. Say yes. Yes or no? You've been baptized? Yes. Who are the parents of these children? Parents, raise your hands. All the parents. All the parents. How would you say parents in, in Vietnamese? Okay, raise your hands, parents. All of you. Hi, 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 hi. Let me see. Okay? Oh my golly. Where are you disseminated? Well, tell your child that he better answer. She better answer. 
Because uh, you prepare them, you taught all these things to them, even before the nuns uh, or the, the, the confirmation team did so. All right. So he said that you have been baptized. And then he said something very important. You have heard Christ's calling. And because you heard Christ's calling, you did three things. First, you started praying or continued to pray. You intensified your life of prayer. We have established a relationship of love with Jesus. You engage your heart in your relationship with Jesus. Then you, did, you studied and did reflected on what you learned about Jesus. So you engage your brain. You engage your brain. And then when brains and heart started coming together, you did acts of service. That's what you did, right? Hey, we heard the gospel. The gospel is uh, uh, the most repeated uh, uh, miracle of Jesus in the gospels after the account of, uh, of his death and uh, resurrection. All the four gospels have it. A couple of gospels have it twice. The multiplication of loaves and fish. All right? So Jesus is teaching. He's healing. Lot, great crowd. 5,000 men. God knows how many women and children. So large crowd. It's getting late. And the disciple says, Jesus, Master, it's getting late. It's getting dark. We are nowhere closer to any village. Why don't you tell them, to, okay, go, go, go home now. Because we don't have anything to eat. We can't, you know. And Jesus says, well, why don't you give them something to eat? That's quite a challenge. And we only have five loaves and two fish. Okay, make sure that everybody sits down in an orderly manner. They didn't have tables, so they sat in groups of 50. So it's easy to walk around. He said, bring me what you have. We heard that, right? They brought him loaves and fish. And what did he do? Now, listen to the, the verbs, the verbs that the, the gospel uses to tell us what Jesus did. So he took... The, the bread and the fish. He looked up to heaven. He blesses, blessed. He broke it and he gave it to the disciples for the disciples to go out and distribute. Is that familiar, the language? Well, this is a general question to everybody. Everybody who has an answer, yes or no, raise your hand. Isn't that a familiar language? He took, he blessed it, Looked up to heaven, blessed it, broke it, and gave it. What is that? Isn't that what the priest says when he celebrates the Eucharist and takes the bread and then takes the chalice? And he does that. He, he took it, he takes it, and, and he, 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 he tells us the story of Jesus converting bread and wine into the body and blood. So interesting, before, even before Jesus actually established the Eucharist, he pulled in, engaged his disciples to tell them, give me what you have. I'll take care of it. But then you have to help me. So he takes care of it. And from those two loaves and five fish, five loaves and two fish, then everybody, 5,000 people have food and they collect 12 baskets of leftover. Hey, a lot of food. A lot of food. But they were distributed by the disciples. What does he tell us? What he tells us is exactly what you have gone through in your preparation of confirmation. You have been called by Jesus. You have uh, in, got close to Jesus in prayer. You have studied and reflected upon the truths about Jesus. And then you have done acts of service. Whatever these acts of service are. Maybe you helped here in the parish as a lecturer, as ushers. Maybe you have started helping more at home. I don't know. I don't know. It would be helpful to, for a volunteer to say what he or she did. And I'm just waiting a few seconds. If you want somebody to volunteer, I'm not going to ask because you're kind of slow in answering. So I'm going to keep on going, right? But if somebody wants to share what acts of service you have done, anybody? Okay, 
Whatever the acts of service, why? Because uh, that's the way Jesus is. Jesus came not to be served, but to answer. Serve. Thank you. Not to be served, but to serve. That's the, the life of Jesus. Now, let me tell you three areas in which I think you are called to serve humanity. Just like the disciples who went out and fed 5,000 men and not counting women and children. The first is this. And, and again, it's what uh, Father Dominic used to introduce you to me. These uh, having been baptized and heard Christ's calling. The first is this. Life, your life, my life, everybody's life here. Everybody's life outside of this church. Outside of the church indeed has been called by Christ. Has been called by Christ. All of us. Live because Christ calls us. Christ is God. He calls us to life. Some of us, a good portion, but not the total, have joined through baptism the church. And so we kind of identify that the call is a Christ's call. Just like Abraham heard the call to say, Hey, Abraham, Abraham, what's up? What's up? Go leave your land and go to a land that I will indicate to you as you keep on going. Oh, okay. And he started off. And he traveled and finally... You know, until he would reach the land that God had indicated. So life is a vocation we use. And vocation doesn't just only becoming a sister, a priest, a brother. Right? No. Everybody has a vocation. And to tell the world, and that's what I, you're, you're helping, your service that I challenge you to pick up and live in your life, is to tell the world that you hear and listen to the call of Christ. Not everybody else's call. Not everybody else's, but the call of Christ. You know, I learned years ago that uh, you belong to a beautiful, beautiful, faith-rich people, uh, the Vietnamese people, because, uh, because uh, your faith has been purified through 300 years of persecutions in the blood of the martyrs who have heard Christ's call and given the witness to the very end uh, to the point of uh, giving their lives and as we look at them we hear that for them it was worthy to hear Christ's call and tell the world that's the call that we want to hear it's not the call that we find on Facebook on, uh, on YouTube on TikTok Tick a tick, tick a tuck. Huh? You like that, right? <laughs> not on there. And whatever other platform that you can find in internet, it's not even the calls that come in on your phone, on, on, on your messages. It's Christ's call. And you get the witness uh, that you as a Christian, Catholic Christian, you listen to Jesus. And then you live your normal life. Second area. As you live your normal life, um, a few of you may be called to priesthood or to be consecrate yourselves in, uh, as a man or as a woman. But I would say that most of you are called to become spouses, to get married. And the world, our society, needs this particular witness, this particular service to see that it's possible that a man who knows who is a man and a woman who knows she is a woman, they are attracted to one another and after getting to know one another, they finally decide that they want to spend their life together. And what do they do? They go to some preparation and they come right here in front of the altar where this blue dot is, right? That's where I'm going to stand, I guess, or communion, right there, blue dot. And one of the priests or the deacons will witness you who will say, you know, I, I take you as my spouse, I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I will love you and respect you all the days of, uh, all the days, really? How about a couple of years? Maybe 10. No, no. All the days of uh, whose life? My life. My life. It's an incredible, tremendous task. And today it, it appears so difficult that uh, no, 50% of the marriages end up in divorce. Because, oh, no, 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 I can't, I can't live with my spouse. She's crazy. He's mad. Whatever. Or whatever. And I can't stand that anymore. Well, well, if Jesus had done this, he would not have died on the cross. He would have come down. He would not even go up on the cross. 
to the end. I promise to be true to you, to love you and respect you all the days of my life. That's a witness that the world needs to see. A man and a woman who are not afraid or say who they are, and they say, yes, I accept to live with you all my life. Third area is uh, something that <coughs> here in Houston, we have the chance to live uh, in a very particular way uh, in the United States as well, in the United States as well. Most of the big cities, large cities uh, in the United States are so multicultural, so diverse, right? And we know that diversity in terms of ethnicity sometimes may cause uh, acrimony, sometimes may cause uh, uh, breaking apart and not trying to get close to much or look with suspicion at the other ones. Well, I tell you that you have, because you have been brought together here by the Holy Spirit to form one body of Christ. He is the head. You are called Show to the world that it's possible to come together in harmony, peace, and gentleness, and charity, and love, and generosity, even with people who come from different other places of the world. And politics will be so much better, and economics will be so much better if we go and look at the people in these ways. How many other gifts of the Holy Spirit? Seven. Oh, an answer that came from here. Who's, who gave the answer? Raise your hand. Did you answer? Seven? Who said it? Oh, you did. So Good. Raise your hand. I'm going to give you a high five because you are the first one <laughs> on this side to give an answer. And thank you. You've been answering all along. So that's good. Seven. What is the first gift? Confirmandi. Wisdom. Is that wisdom? Are you sure? I keep looking at them, but they say, uh, blank, blank. <laughs> You're funny. Huh? <laughs> yes, it's wisdom. We all need wisdom. Wisdom, the gift that allows us to see the world in the same way that God sees the world. That's why love is eternal. It never ends all the days of my life. Always being called and sent, like Jesus sent all the time, and forming unity with God. Are you ready now to move on with confirmations? Yes. Okay, good. Why don't you stand then, please? Confirmandi, please stand. And I'm going you to ask, I'm going to ask to ask you to renew your baptism promises. Candidates for confirmation. Do you reject Satan and all his works and anti promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son of our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered a death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. What I'm going to do here, and the priest at their seat will also stand and eventually stretch their hands over you, is to invoke the Holy Spirit. There will be a pause. Uh, we celebrated the Pentecost two weeks ago, the giving of the Spirit on the apostles. It's the same exact reality that will happen here in a few minutes. So I ask everybody during that pause of silence to contemplate with your eyes of faith. Uh, the coming of the Holy Spirit, the hovering over the Holy Spirit here, who is ready to take ownership of the lives of these 67 young men and women. Dearly beloved, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, for these his adopted sons and daughters, already born again into eternal life in baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts, 
and uh, through his anointing, conform them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these, your servants, to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin. Send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Through Christ our Lord. Savior, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Joseph, can you please lift your hand? Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Francis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. <coughs> Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. That men be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Jose Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Come closer. John the Baptist, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Angela, closer to me. Angela Merici, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Anna, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Closure. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Augustine, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Closer. 
Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Anna, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Agnes, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Paul, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Matthew, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Francis Xavier, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Closer. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. <clears throat> In a tongue, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Matthew, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. <clears throat> Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Pharaoh, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Peter, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Anna, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Closer to me. Martha, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Martin, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Peter, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Good. 
Martha, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Lift your hand, please. Okay. Martin, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Maximilian Colby, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. John, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Jose, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Dominic, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Dominic, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Paul, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Agnes, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. All right. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to God the Almighty Father and be of one mind in our prayer, just as faith, hope, and charity which proceed from His Holy Spirit are one. For these His servants, whom the gift of the Holy Spirit has confirmed, that planted in faith and grounded in love, they may bear witness to Christ the Lord by their way of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For their parents and sponsors, that by word and example, they may continue to encourage those whom they have sponsored in the faith to follow in the footsteps of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Church of God, together with Francis our Pope, Daniel our Bishop, and all the bishops, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, the church may grow and increase in unity of faith and love until the coming of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole world, that all people who have one maker and father may acknowledge one another as brothers and sisters without discrimination of race or nation, and with sincere hearts seek the kingdom of God, which is peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. 
nor hear our prayer. For all special intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. We also pray for peace in Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. O God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles, and will that through them and their successors the same Spirit be handed on to the rest of the faithful, listen favorably to our prayer and grant that your divine grace, which was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, may now spread through the hearts of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Grant your church, pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift our hearts to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, uh, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, uh, through Christ our Lord, for at the Last Supper, with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross. He offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by these sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bound of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that, bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all the creatures of heaven and earth Sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, and you have created, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, save the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostle, glorious martyrs, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and uh, Bishop Itali Italo, the order of Bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people should have again for your own. Remember also, Lord, your servants reborn in baptism, whom you have been pleased to confirm by bestowing the Holy, by the Holy Spirit and in your mercy, give safe in them your grace. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have assembled before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, 
forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Vâng lấy chú cứu thế và theo thể thức người dạy chúng ta giam nguyện rằng Lời cha chúng con ở trên trời Chúng con nguyện danh cha cả xa Được cha chỉ đến Thì cha thể hiện dưới là cũng như trên trời Xin cha cho chúng con hôm nay lương thực hàng ngày Và tha nợ chúng con như chúng con cũng tha kẻ con ở chúng con Xin chớ để chúng con xa trước cam dỗ Nhưng đưa chúng con cho khỏi sự dữ Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days That by the help of your mercy We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Vì vương quyền, vì lực và vinh quang là của Chúa đến muôn đời. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace be with you, Father. Peace be with you, Deacon. Peace be with you, Father. Peace be with you, Deacon. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not I am not worthy ready. that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in the share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. I see my mouth here. Bishop Italo, once again, we thank you very much for being here with us, and especially for giving 67 uh, young ladies and young men of our parish the uh, sacrament of confirmation. And uh, on the occasion of the Father's Day, we wish and we pray that uh, God may give you good health, energy, and abundant blessings so that you may be uh, the best spiritual father to those God entrusted to your care. And please pray for us, and we also pray for you. I may have uh, some words in Vietnamese. <laughs> Thay mặt cho các cha, các thầy phó tế và cộng đoàn dân chúa, giáo sư đến mẹ Lộ Đức, chúng ta chúc mừng uh, 67 em được uh, lấy nhận bí tích thêm sức ngày hôm nay cũng như uh, uh, cha mẹ, gia đình và những người uh, cha mẹ đỡ đầu của các em uh, chúng ta vỗ tay để chúc mừng cho các em tất cả mọi người một lời chào phó tay và cũng uh, nhân dịp ngày uh, lễ hiền phụ uh, xin uh, cầu chúc cho tất cả những người cha uh, trong uh, gia đình có được uh, noi gương uh, tình yêu của Thiên Chúa, có những thánh cả vui xe để chu toàn cái sứ vụ mà Chúa trao phó trong đời sống của gia đình, đặc biệt là để chăm sóc uh, đời sống đức tin cho những người con em mà Thiên Chúa đã trao phó cho tất cả các ông, các anh. Và một lần nữa xin cảm ơn tất cả các uh, cha, các thầy, uh, các sơ, các thầy cô đã giúp cho các em, uh, 67 em trong uh, dịp uh, thêm sức ngày hôm nay không có sự hy sinh của tất cả quý thầy cô thì chắc chắn là các em cũng không, không có được ngày hôm nay. Đặc biệt rằng chúng tôi phải cảm ơn tất cả các người cha, người mẹ cũng đã hy sinh rất nhiều để uh, cho các em đi học và đưa các em tới nhà trường để học. Và cũng như cảm ơn tất cả các em vì nếu không có cái sự cộng tác tích cực của các cha mẹ, của các em thì chắc chắn là chúng ta không có ngày vui ngày hôm nay. Đặc biệt là ngày lễ kính mình máu Thánh Chúa chúng ta được lãnh nhận uh, một mình Thánh Chúa và cùng một uh, mình Thánh Chúa và Chúa mời gọi chúng ta kết hợp với nhau được nên một ở trong Chúa. Xin cảm ơn tất cả mọi người. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I always appreciate coming here. Your hospitality, your confreres and, uh, and the priests and the community is always very beautiful. Beautiful liturgies, uh, a beautiful sign of the deep faith uh, of the Vietnamese people. Um, mothers and fathers of this uh, young men and women who have been confirmed, your sponsors who marked uh, the moment, uh, the event uh, with your hand uh, on their shoulder, continue to support them throughout their lives. And you who have been confirmed, remember, you have a vocation. Christ is always, always calling you. And one way to live this uh, call is to live a good marriage life. Uh, the church teaches is clear, is, uh, uh, there are no doubts of what marriage is and understanding of Jesus and of the church. Live it well and be constructors, builders of unity in such a diversity that could be deadly but could be at the same time very beautiful. I commend you. Uh, uh, I know that you are prepared, uh, obviously, and I trust the preparation that you have because it is rooted in a deep faith, don't lose the faith, uh, keep the faith, uh, turn to help, uh, to your priest, to your sponsor, your parents, uh, and then live a holy, beautiful, joyful life. 
Uh, co take courage. And uh, to show our love for you, and uh, one uh, representative <laughs> of uh, their families uh, to uh, give you the flower. Thank you. But as I wait, <laughs> and before I get the flowers, I want to say thank you to the choir. It's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Come on up. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, flowers. We'll give it to Mary, okay? Okay. <coughs> Mary, mother of Jesus, mother of God, mother of the church, our mother, our mother, not yours, not mine, ours, okay? Okay, why don't you stand? I give you the blessing now. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. chỉ có bàn tay không vào đời khi con chưa biết đời mênh mông chúng quanh vây kín ngay ngùng bao nhiêu con mắt ngỡ ngàng làm con sao xuyên vô cùng 
vào đời khi con chưa biết tròn tiếng khóc nụ cười trên môi tuy vẫn còn xanh non thì ngày ngày vẫn thương con vào đời mà sống trăm năm trọn vẹn một kiếp con người đưa con vào đời ngày đưa con đến chân gian đôi mới con vào đời hành trang chân chưa yêu thương chúa ơi nay con vào đời tình yêu nhỏ bé dâng hiến cho người tin vui giang người nay con xin đến làm chứng cho đời như cây như lá ngày thêm say nhìn lại năm tháng khôn lớn càng thêm nhanh cho con đây suối ơn lành cho con giây phút yên hàn mẹ cha thương yêu dỗ dài rồi chiều tương tư con biết nhìn chúng quay dòng đời dồ lần cho bước vào lánh đây lao đao từng phút ân tình mở rộng tình ai trong tim khi yêu con đã quên mình đưa con vào đời ngài đưa con đến chân gian đôi mới đưa con vào đời hành trang chân chưa yêu thương chúa bé dâng hiến cho người tin vui giang người nay con xin đến làm chứng cho ngài Dòng đời chen lân con thấy mình ngây thơ Tình người dần rồi con thấy mình ngu ngơ Ô hay con đã không ngờ Khi con vẫn cứ mong chờ Đời kia đẹp như giấc mơ Đời là thế đây con chớ vội âu lo Vào đời ta cũng dâng hiến tình yêu ta người đời nào có thiết tha vào đời làm chứng cho ta hy sinh ta chấp nhận rồi đưa con vào đời ngài đưa con đến chân gian đôi mới đưa con vào đời hành trang chân chưa yêu thương chúa con vào đời tình yêu nhỏ bé dâng hiến cho người tin vui giang người nay con xin đến làm chứng cho ngài ngài vì thương con nên đã tròn con đi vào đời xe trong tiếng hát quyền đam mê mong cho thế giới an hòa mong cho yêu mến đậm đà tình yêu thay thế oán thù vào đời khi con giữa bước cùng anh em đường đời mênh mông âu yếm bàn chân con và rồi đời sẽ hiểu con một ngày người sẽ biết hơn phục vụ là sống cho người đưa con vào đời ngài đưa con đến chân gian đôi mới đưa con vào đời hành trang chân chưa yêu thương chúa ơi nay con vào đời tình yêu nhỏ bé dâng hiến cho Nay 
con xin đến làm chứng cho ngài Hãy subscribe 